What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are doing the full popular monster album review and uh, we're getting into voices in my head. Now I've seen the song. I know the song. That's not what this is. This is trying to make the album make sense like the story inside the album because he has said that it's not just song for song. It's like it all kind of blends together. So that's what we're trying to figure out here. Um. Well, let's get into it, man. I hope you enjoy. If you do, smash the like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the merch store, the football podcast, everything going on. But um, so far, what we have, because we're doing the entire album, prequel, he he gets like a crown of thorns, which I think allows him to see through the bullshit of society. Um, And then he finds his armor at the end. Popular monster, I think it's like a, a he gets sent back to reality, so it doesn't necessarily remember prequel. And he's depressed and he's going through his shit. And his daughter pulls him into the light to save him, essentially. All my life, he has his light, has his life, but then he, that's why he comes in on a unicorn and all this shit. But then he fucks up, robs a bank, and then, like, at the end of the video, legitimately falls off the tracks, like falling off the wagon kind of thing. Then uh, Ronald comes out, and the first line is. I thought everything was good, but it turns out the world's fucked up. Then he meets up with those gods things. They give him powers. He goes to see Tech 9. He gives him his armor back. He goes and fights Alex and essentially beats the devil, I think, is where we're at. And then we jump into this, which almost makes sense because the beginning of this video is he's in an asylum in a cage. So maybe he's internally dealing with everything that has happened up to this point. Maybe. I'm also maybe crazy and just making shit up. So let's just see what we got. I love this song. I know this song. So it's not that, but we're going to try and make connections with the rest of the album. So let's get into it, baby. Let's go. All right. The voices in my head keep on telling. This whole video takes place inside of his brain, too. So it's like. That really makes sense. He's like internally dealing with everything. Me to pray, cause I'm spending like a carousel, circle in the train. Hit the bottom of the bottle. I don't wanna feel the pain, but that is all I got for now. I don't wanna talk about the voices in my head. Keep on begging me to stay. If I pull the trigger now, then the demons go away. And I know my time is coming, so there ain't no time to waste. So that is all I got for now. I don't wanna talk about the voices in my head. Keep telling me to choose a side. It's heaven or hell, like it's do or die. I'm a sad. Boy, you know better. Please don't make this last forever. It's so good. They did such a good job of him killing himself over and over. Uh. The zombified so that that this is where you're going to get a little bit of like the timelines fucked up because the songs came out so so uh differently so you got zombified popping up in the tiktok thing before god i gotta sneeze before uh it's even out on the album so like there's going to be a little bit of stuff where it doesn't make sense at all just because i'm sure the entire time he was making this album it, it didn't come down to like we have to follow like a structure for it all to make sense. I'm sure there was a lot of just like making the songs, you know what I mean? Like you go through it, but it's also, this is all happening inside his head. So maybe zombified, you know, I'll just make the stupid connection to make it make sense. Zombified was in his head, but it hadn't come out yet. Oh, boom, done. <laughs> Has anybody confirmed if that was an MGK shot or not? Because it seems like it was an MGK shot, but I think him and MGK are cool. I don't know. I'm a lost boy, you know better. Please don't make this last forever. Voices in my head keep telling me that I'm inside. And maybe I'm a little bit that won't change. Some popular monster running. in 
my head keep on telling me I'm cursed. I'm paranoid. I don't want I love the fact that he did his own stunts for this part coming up. That's ridiculous, dude. Wanna make it any worse? We're all gonna die, but first things first. I'm gonna take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. The voices in my head keep on telling me I'm cursed. I'm paranoid. I don't wanna make it any worse. We're all gonna die, but first things first. I'm gonna take the world with me when they put me in the dirt. Move! That's my favorite part of that breakdown is how they synced it up to the video, dude. I love that. Okay, I'm making some connection. I think this would be the city that he burns down and watch the world burn, which happens next. So it's still fine. Everything's fine. Now, granted, this video takes place in his head. So that's but your shit inside your heads are up here's representation of the shit you're seeing in real life, right? So if this city is in real life, then watch the world burn. He fucks this city up. There's a connection. Yeah, and now the cage door is open and he wakes up, so. It makes sense that this would be him going through everything. Especially, dude, not for nothing. Like, if we're going chronologically, if you just fought the devil and you come back to Earth, you'd be a little bit nuts. So, like, you spend some time in an asylum. You're inside your head. Now he's, he's kind of dealt with it. He's good. So we're going to go in to watch the world burn, which kind of proves that he's not good because he fucks everybody up. But you get the point. So this is, I, dude, I really might be just making shit up, but it's kind of fun anyway. So whatever. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So there is voices in my head. And I think we're, we're we might be getting somewhere. We might be just making shit up. But either way, it's kind of fun. And that's the point. You get to interpret shit your own way and come up with your own shit. It's not like a direct, here's your, um, here's your fucking story. Have fun with it. Ronnie's leaving a lot out here to interpret, which is really fun. Oh, my leg is asleep. Mm. All right. So that's kind of where I think we're at with this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're here for the full album review, make sure you stay tuned. And if you're just watching this individually, man, I hope you enjoyed. Remember, this wasn't really a music review because I know the song. It's more of a how does this song connect to the rest of the album? So that's what we're doing. Hope you guys enjoyed. As If you did, as always, uh, smash the like, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the merch store, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one, man. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. Later.